Ooh. That was kind of fun. <laughs> oh yeah. So, once we're ready, we can head on out on this little adventure to slay the warlock. That should be funny. I mean, I'm, I mean, uh, we don't need to worry about the moral implications of killing someone who is pure evil. Because, I mean, this is for the better, like, the better good of the world. You know what I mean? Anyways, uh, how are you doing? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm just, uh, hyping myself up. Never got into a fight with a warlock before, so I wonder how that's gonna go. Yeah, I still don't know if you're gonna be a mage, but if you do cast a spell, that'll be awesome. Oh, yeah. So, right here we have a map that just mentions vaguely where we're gonna end up going. One of the main places is the Forest of Giants. So, we're gonna have to watch out for giants there, I guess. That's going to be a bit tough, but if we keep quiet and just move straight through, I'm sure we won't have any problems. And if we do, I'm, I'm sure we can figure things out, you know? It'll be alright. Don't worry. After that, we've got Ocean of Sirens. Huh. Well, I suppose uh, we'll just have to navigate that. I mean, we're already dating each other. But I don't know exactly how these sirens operate, you know? Who knows, anything here could be a wild card. <laughs> don't worry. I won't let a siren sway me away with anything. I mean, they'd have to speak in your voice, but like, you also speak in your voice, so... As long as you keep speaking while they're speaking or singing or whatever, then there shouldn't even be a single problem. All right, and then after we cross the Ocean of Sirens to get to the mainland, we will have to overcome... Oh shoot, the map says that this is our biggest challenge. Some say that this is the ultimate test. If you don't survive this, you would have never had any chance of surviving the Warlock. And this place is the Burger King bathroom. They have Burger King here? I suppose that makes sense. They, they, like, I mean, it's medieval time, so they probably have a Burger King here. I suppose we just gotta survive Burger King, and then we can uh, head right up to the Warlock's Mountain. Which, I guess, is pretty self-explanatory. I guess there's a cave there, and we go inside the cave in the mountain. And from there, we beat the Warlock. <clears throat> This is going to be a heck of an adventure. Yeah, yeah, I'm kind of like uh, a bit weary, but I think we got this probably. Yeah, my main concern is just the the giant's place because, you know, if they find us and they're really mean about it, they can probably just kick us or something or like step on us, you know, anything like that. And if we go across the Ocean of Sirens, I don't want either of us getting lured off the boat and eaten by a vicious mermaid or something like that. And then the Burger King bathroom, I don't think I need to even explain. And then the Warlock's Mountain. I mean, who knows what this guy's packing. It could be just some guy, or maybe it could be the most powerful villain of this side of the universe, you know? And apparently he's going to summon a whole demon army that's going to take over this planet, and if we don't stop him, he's going to do just that. That's going to suck, man. But don't worry, I'm sure we got this. We are the heroes of this precious timeline. We're going to make sure everything is set right. No matter what obstacles are in our way, and... You know, no matter what we face. We're facing it together. <laughs> yeah. Hey, if there was anyone on the planet or a timeline universe that I'd rather be doing this with, it's definitely you. True, true. 
I'm ready. I'm hyped up. We are going to beat this warlock, and it's going to be awesome. Mm. Yeah. What? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm doing all right. Yeah, I wish Samuel could come with. Oh, no, no, it's it's nothing like... I mean, I, I think he should just, you know, get out there sometimes. If he's anything similar to our Samuel, he could really use an adventure like this. Yeah. Oh, I hope he's doing all right. And I hope we see him again. <laughs> yeah. That dude works way too many jobs for his own good. <clears throat> yeah. Hey, I'm sure when we get back, everything's going to be fine. Maybe we should bring evidence that we've been to another universe so that we can excuse ourselves when we have to prove it to our workplace. You know, because we're kind of getting kidnapped by a magic mirror into another alternate timeline, so like... Is that really on us? Hey, maybe if we're lucky, they'll give us unpaid leave this time. <laughs> oh yeah, no, the last few vacations I've taken, they didn't let me take it without permission. But that's just the school. <clears throat> but hey, I love those kids. Even if I only get paid $40,000 a year to take care of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe that is a problem, I don't know. Anyways, we should get ready to venture onward. Have you ever ridden a horse before? Yeah, they're kind of finicky. These ones especially, I don't know, maybe they aren't as evolved as our modern horses. Maybe they're still a little, little wild, you know? <laughs> yeah, just don't get bucked off. Anyways, yeah, let's prep for this adventure. We're going to survive. We are going to kick ass. And then we're going to go home. And maybe, you know, take a couple of treasures and memories along the way. <laughs> Hell yeah, let's go, babe. Hey everyone, thank you for listening. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this audio, and if you did, feel free to like, subscribe, and everything. It really helps out. I know this is a lot more simple of an audio, but uh, after Starline and being busy during the holidays, I kind of took a break, and then I kind of just hit a slump, and I'm trying to force myself out of that slump. Even if it's something really simple, just getting back into the groove of recording and voicing over things is uh, very helpful. So, yeah. But thank you for being patient for the new audios, and thank you for joining me. I uh, hope you guys are staying safe and having a good one. And in the meantime, I'd like to thank everyone who has been supporting me up to this point, as well as my patrons on the Diplomat and Higher Tier, including Katori Rod, Len Girl, Lee. Kitty243, Sammy Samar, Alicia, Clara Bell Pagan, Aleswith, Tricky Bunny Tail, Adler S, MG, Deborah Bossard, Aeon Eternal, Silverhawk EG, Earl Grey Audios, Christopher Stevens, Dell, Christy Hall, Ruby, Wendy Wayne, Ma, Elizabeth Williams, Only a Potato, Miss Effie, Zen, Patrice Gilton, Helios Flame, Kira White, Anna, K, Inspector Lemon, Mia Com, Wisdom A. Denby Haskins, Angel, Hannah Lonsenth, GD, Elmo, Honeybee, Cuddle Monster 22, Anna DLC, Zed Zero, Kurt Wilkes, Nix, CR92, Destiny Johnson, Safadil, Ravioli Senpai, and Outer. Again, 
Those are all of my uh, patrons on the Diplomat and Higher tier. And if you want to join them, the uh, Patreon link is in the description below. Anyways, that's all for now. Thank you for listening. I hope you guys have a good one, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.